Plans to connect Cleveland to Chicago and Pittsburgh by way of Hyperloop. They are moving forward. Hyperloop as a future way of transportation was included in that trillion dollar infrastructure package opening doors to funding. News 5's John Kosick speaks now with the people behind the Cleveland project and tonight for the very first time gives us a look inside one of the Hyperloop capsules. While we have talked about Hyperloop travel since it was announced in 2018, one day taking passengers from Cleveland to Chicago in 28 minutes or Cleveland to Pittsburgh in 19, the renderings have always been from the outside. Now for the first time, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, the group behind the Cleveland project, is giving us the inside look. This is the interior that we're building for the first Hyperloop system. So a version of this is what you'll be able to ride for the first Hyperloop between Chicago and Cleveland. The capsules of around 100 feet in length use passive magnetics to levitate and essentially a vacuum tube where they can travel smoothly at speeds of up to 700 miles an hour. The ride is completely smooth, so you and I could, could drink a cup of coffee. It's spacious. We have this, this really interesting artificial sunlight technology, artificial skylight. It feels like you're outside or we can turn it into the night sky. Um, we have speakers embedded in the headrests. It's personalized, so the seat knows who you are. It knows your name if you wanted to, where you're able to pick up on your Netflix show right where you left off at home just by flipping open the tablet and, um, and by biometric scan. The big boost to their efforts coming this week in the infrastructure package. While there was no direct funding, it recognized Hyperloop as a future form of transportation, opening it to federal funding and programs that other forms of transportation can already access. Well, it's exciting. You know, the possibility for Hyperloop uh, is for passenger rail, but also freight rail. And you can go a lot faster and, you know, less friction. And so there's, there's a lot of advantages to it. And the new legislation does provide some funding for that kind of innovative transportation technology. Testing continues at the company's test track in France and the Cleveland project, they say, remains on track to possibly be the first of the Hyperloop projects in the country to go forward. Testing continues to go well. I mean, we're, we're still on track. So for you guys in Cleveland, it's, you know, before the end of the decade, we want to bring Hyperloop to you to do Chicago and, and, and if you want Pittsburgh. In Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5.